bat in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Townsend Gobert, the towering big man at the four and the five. And it's Conley in at the one. Here's Conley coming off a of Suns make. Towns finds Conley. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. Not exactly how you want to dive into the game. Picks up his first foul right off the bat. Outside Conley. Towns is screen on Paul. against Conley. Pass to Towns. Beyond the arc. The shot no good. And Phoenix the other way now. They're coming off a win against the Nuggets. And at the offensive end, they were lights out in that game. They found all sorts of ways to punish the D. Yeah, I love watching that game and in particular their demeanor in their destruction in that game. Now here's Edwards. 23 points for him last game against the Nets in Brooklyn. He also had two blocks that really impacted that game, guys. He really made his presence known. Let's the three fly. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Here's Durant. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Outside Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Durant for three. Conley, count it. One for one to start the game. Just a smart offensive player. Conley is aware of when he should look to rise and fire. Ooh, I love it. Durant with a screen on Edwards. Here's Booker. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here's Edwards. A real weapon on offense. Averaging around 24 and a half a game. Pass to Conley. Six to shoot. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. And Edwards with the basket on the assist by Conley. And that ties it up. Yeah, we've seen Conley do this forever. Running the point with precision. Here's Booker. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. The Timberwolves have gone just two for four from the floor. And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a twin towers approach with two seven-footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. Now here's Aiton. In his last outing, 16 points for him. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. And now we'd like to bring you the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Here are this season's team leaders in blocks. The fourth spot held by the Timberwolves. They're quick to help each other, and they have some tremendous athletes with a nose for the ball. Just five to shoot. Here's Paul. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. The Suns beat them last time when these two met in Phoenix. Last time, free throw shooting was their kryptonite. Just could not keep pace. Now here's Conley. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Brooklyn. Here's Towns. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Suns have gone three of six from the floor. Paul passes to Durant. The shot won't fall. Minnesota has gone two for four from range to start things off. Pass to Conley. Edwards with it. Now here's McDaniels. Towns on a screen. Let's it go from 11. And he hits the jump shot. The Suns trailing. Ball passes to Booker. For three, Durant. McDaniels with the rebound. 
And for Minnesota, they're shooting 43% to get this one underway. Pass to Gobert. Now Edwards. For three, Conley. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got four rebounds in the game. Phoenix is shooting just 38% so far in this one. Here's Okogi to end the drought. Doesn't go for him. Outside Conley. Towns for three. Sinks that one after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. Ah, the versatility of Towns. Unleashing his outside game and presenting all sorts of problems for the defense. Phoenix calls timeout. Pass to Booker. Knocked away. And stolen by Edwards. And here's Conley. Now here's Towns. And Gobert with the stuff. This is who Towns is. An unselfish, versatile big man with great court awareness. Towns against Durant. Aiden with a screen to end the run. Who poked away. And Aiden with the stuff. Now if Aiden continues to play with that kind of effort, possession by possession, he's a real tough cover. Towns against Durant. Pass to McDaniels. No good on the three. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Edwards against Booker. It's not going to go for him. Good D by Gobert. For Minnesota, they've gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Here's Edwards. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. Conley's got three assists now in this one. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Inside, here's Edwards. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Edwards got his third bucket of the night. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Minnesota with the ball, following the score by Phoenix. Outside Edwards. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for him. Yeah, I think he can. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Phoenix. Craig is checked in for Okogi. Lee comes in for Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Anderson comes in for McDaniels. Second free throw, no good. And we're at the point of the season where we really start seeing teams dial in for the playoff push, Grant. Oh, such an exciting time, B.A. And for some teams, the playoffs start now. We've got bubble teams in both conferences battling for positioning, and every game has playoff implications. 
And the move that really shook up the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. After a tough decade for the Suns between 2010 and 2020, they are once again a team to be reckoned with in the NBA, Brent. Oh, man, the cachet of talent that this roster has is tremendous. And this team really came together in a hurry. And they're going to be a force for the next few years to come. Biombo, he's checked in for the Suns. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Now here's Anderson. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Edwards, the pass to Reed. Over Payne. Reed can't hit. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Pass to Biombo. The fader. No good. A bit long that time. A wasted trip down the floor. That's not a good shot at all. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. And that one drops for him. Towns has got five now. Just pure shooting ability from Towns. Exceptional. A big guy who can do it all on the offensive end. Pass to Durant. Let's it fly from 18. That one doesn't drop. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. And he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. And here's Anderson to the paint. Here's Towns, and he banks in the layup. Towns has gotten his third basket of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Phoenix calls timeout. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Rivers is checked in. And here we can check out the story for DeAndre Ayton. And when you look at his rebounding numbers, I think the season is starting to wear him down a little bit. His numbers there have dipped over this month, but I'm sure he'll catch a much-needed second win soon. Phoenix has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Durant against Towns. Craig with a screen on Towns. And the Suns miss again. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now here's Towns. Coming off a 22-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. And he also controlled the boards. He just seemed to be in the right position every time the ball came off the rim. Durant. Rebound Minnesota. Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Towns against Payne. And the basket by Towns. Towns has got nine points. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Craig with a screen. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That'll be a second foul of the game. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more. Careful on defense. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. Down low. And Biombo slams it home. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Tipped away. Pass to Noel. And the 
first shot of the night for him. Missing. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Now here's Payne. He's covered closely. Here's Lee. No good on the shot. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Brooklyn. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D. But that never materialized, so they took advantage. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. There's 57 seconds left in the first. Outside Payne. Back to Craig. The three. And he buries his first look. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Towns is screened on Craig. Here's Anderson. The Suns clear it. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Craig. And it's Noel with a rebound. We're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Pass to Towns. Back to Rivers. From deep. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns from Minnesota. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Now getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. Feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Minnesota in the lead. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Kyle Anderson is out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at point. Here's Edwards. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And the postseason is always something to look forward to in the NBA. Grant, as a player, when you're in there, how different is playoff basketball from the regular season? Well, first of all, B.A., it's the best time of the year. Playoff basketball, the intensity raises to another level. Both teams making adjustments within the series. You have to know your counters. Really, at the end of the day, it's who wants it more and who can execute on both ends of the floor with the most consistency throughout the series. Now here's Booker. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Denver. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. Outside Anderson. Here's the three. That shot off the mark. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. To the inside. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. And if Booker has the defense on him inside, he can still deliver. He doesn't let that get to him. Gobert with a screen on Booker. And here's Edwards outside. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here's Booker. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Closed them in on two minutes played here in the second. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. The length of Gobert is a problem for any defense. And of course he uses it so well to draw contact while shooting. He's 
He's off on the first. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. He hits the second from the line. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. Outside Paul to the paint. That's good from Durant on the assist by Paul. And now it's just a four-point Timberwolves lead. Conley passes to Gobert. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And these are the top rebounders in the league. The fourth spot held by Rudy Gobert. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. First free throw is good. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound to rock. From 15 feet away, here's Aiton. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. With the 10-footer, it's good. Conley's got his second basket of the night. Now, this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Paul with it. Guarded now by Anderson. Paul, shot is off. The Timberwolves have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. And here's Edwards outside. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. Over Edwards. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Well, DeAndre Ayton was so valuable in that 2021 playoff run for the Suns. Shot over 65% for the entire postseason on their What's way up? to that NBA Finals appearance. And the former 1-1, the first overall draft pick. Aiden, he, he's just a different matchup. That size VA and that great touch around the rim. He runs the floor. He's a big presence down there. You just don't see a ton of centers like him around this league like you once did in the 80s and early 90s. Aiden's game presents a pretty hefty matchup issue. For Phoenix, they've gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Ball passes to Booker. Aiton, the screen on Conley. For three, Booker. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Edwards got five rebounds in the game. Outside Conley. From deep. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Okogi shot is off. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Conley. It, his third and five attempts. Hey, a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. Here's Okogi over McDaniels. And again, it's the Suns missing. 
Outside, Anderson. Gobert with a screen on Paul. And Conley with the three. Conley's got ten. Conley's gotten it done so far from the field, making four of his six attempts. Phoenix calls timeout. Aiton passes to Paul. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul. Pass to Okogi. Paul with it. Throws it up high. Aiton, no good. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He says, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Shot is good by Edwards. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's Paul. He had 25 points in the win against Denver. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. CP3 taking a hit, still unfazed. Here's Conley. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Picked by Gobert. Conley with the ball. Durant covering. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Free throw drops for Conley. They're one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. Outside Booker. Aiden with a screen. Pass to Paul. Goes up at the elbow. No good off the back of the rim. The Timberwolves have gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. And the ball out of play. The Suns will have it. Phoenix has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Booker for three. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in ten attempts. You can count on Booker for some three-point efficiency. He might not take as many as he used to, but still dangerous. Edwards against Booker. Gobert with a screen on Booker. Shot is good by Edwards. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. Pass to Okogi. Aiton, a screen on McDaniels. With the step back. Shot clock at five. Here's an eight-footer. And the bucket is good. Durant with the finish. Durant's got four points this quarter. That's a nice little eight iron chip shot for KD. Gobert with a screen on Paul. Conley, he's open. Again, the Timberwolves score. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Booker, the pass to Durant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Craig has checked in for a Kogi. Oh. 
Aiden passes to Paul. Pass to Craig. Booker for three. Gets the three to fall. Booker's got 14. And it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Now Reed. Outside Edwards. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Phoenix has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Ball finds Craig. Hayden with it. The jump hook. And it's Phoenix with another. Big man coming with an attacking mindset. That's something for the defense to deal with, and Aiton is dealing. Edwards against Booker. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Misses the free throw. Some changes for Phoenix. Biombo, he's checked in for Durant. Ross comes in for Devin Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. Noel, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And he sinks the second. Here's Payne. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Up top, Biombo. Inside. Here's Aiton. Up and in on the layup. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Minnesota has gotten only four of nine from beyond the arc here in the second. Towns on a screen. Edwards with it. Picked up by Ross. And it's Anthony Edwards with the three. Edwards got 23. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Steps back. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his first foul of the game. And the Suns making a change here. Lee's checked in. Craig finds Payne. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Our 2K leaderboard highlighting the NBA's assist leaders over the last month. Minnesota second. And over this last stretch, this team has been incredible passing the rock, playing great team basketball. Shooting two. And he makes a first. Uh, campaign just a grinder and has stuck with it. His career arc is quite interesting. Spent time in the G League and a few years back he was out of the league. Now he's back. He's confident. He's dependable. And he's a huge part of a team playing winning basketball. Good on both. Here's Noel. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Edwards for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there. Knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. The shot by Payne, no good. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Towns passes to Reed. Ross against Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Misses the three. Phoenix has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Payne finds Craig. Phoenix no good that time either. 
The Timberwolves shooting 52% from the floor so far. Pass to Reed. Now Edwards from outside the arc. Oh, great D that time from Craig. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Now here's Payne. Up top, Biombo. Reed defending. Ross with it. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Rivers is checked in for the Timberwolves. One sixteen left to play in the second quarter. To the right side. Back to Noel. Pass to Rivers. Towns for three. Offensive rebound. Timberwolves. Reed can't hit. Phoenix has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Now here's Biombo. He's guarded closely. And here is Ross. Shot clock at six. From 12 feet, he squares up and sinks it. Ross has got his first points in this one. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Here's Towns. Double team on Towns. Here's Prince. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Prince has gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And he lobs it up. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Noel, defended by Payne. Towns on a screen. The drive by Rivers. That one a little long. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. A three points is better than two. They built this lead by tacking on that extra point at the end of possessions. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Kevin, we saw some moments of frustration for you early. What are you seeing out there? Well, I miss a lot of shots. I'm just trying to be aggressive. Um, I miss some wide open threes and some shots I normally hit. So I just got to continue to keep being aggressive. My teammates looking for me. We got to do a better job on the defense again. Well, sometimes defense can lead to offense, so best of luck moving forward, guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And you know for that matchup against the Lakers, against this team, they have an advantage. But it's not a sure thing. They're going to have to play their hearts out. Kenny, can you smell that? What's that? I'm smelling an upset. Switching focus now. A tremendous showing in the first half for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Many offenses revolve around the three ball, but so far in this game, they've exemplified it to a T, firing with confidence and connecting at a good clip. Pew, 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 pew. I want to get out there right now, Shaq. I feel like I could hit a few myself just watching this offense. Yeah, come to your senses. Okay, all right. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. Yeah, he plays such a smart first half, maximizing his opportunities offensively. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Josh Okoge is out there with Kevin Durant, and it's Aiton in at the center position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Aiton. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. And so it's Minnesota with it. 
Now Conley shoots over Paul. Edwards can't hit. Edwards against Booker. Outside Paul. Towns against Aiden. Outside Booker. Clock at six. Aiden with a screen. From the arc. And Booker hits from deep. Booker's got 17. This isn't all that surprising. Remember, Devin Booker once put 70 up in an NBA contest. I've gotten used to Devin Booker putting up huge numbers, so a 40-point game for him feels like another day at the office. Now here's Towns. Connolly with the ball. Durant pulls it in. And the shot goes. He's got 10. Well, you talk about Booker's high-powered offense. He's a rare member of the 70-point club with only five other players in NBA history. Brett, you got Wilt, Kobe, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and David Robinson. Man, B.A., if you could sit down at a table to talk about your 70-point night, I'd like to be a server at that table. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half, and finally, something finds its way through the net. Aiden, a screen on Edwards. Booker for three. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Edwards. 26 points for him. That's tipped. The ramp for three. Carl Anthony Towns comes up with a rebound. Towns has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. In transition, here come the Suns. Here's Okogi. Here's Durant. That one is off. Good work defensively by Towns. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Now here's Gobert. Soft touch off the glass. Gobert's got seven points in the game. And this is where you get Gobert the ball. With his size and length, he's so tough to stop from there. Aiden, a screen on Conley. And Gobert with a block. And he recovers it. And down it goes. Two points. For Minnesota, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. It's Edwards on the wing. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Can't hit from in close. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Minnesota in the lead. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Gobert. Conley passes to Towns. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got five assists tonight. Well, Towns was the perfect selection there. He's always ready to strike with a quick shot. Here's Booker with the drive. Good. And he's at 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. The shot from 20 feet out. The shot by Towns. No good. For Phoenix, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. And he's going for the lob! And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Edwards, the pass to McDaniels. The kick out to Conley. To the wing, right side. Here's Towns. And that basket makes him six for 11. Shooting a good percentage. <laughs> Look at Towns asserting himself inside. He knows he can muscle his way to a shot anytime. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's foul number two for him. Anderson's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns.
Pass to Okogi. Here's Booker. Phoenix no good that time either. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. McDaniels, that's good. Oh, you love to see that kind of vision from Gobert. As much attention as he draws from the D, there's bound to be an open man, and he just got to find him. Here's Okogi. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. And when Aiton isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. First one falls. And Aiton with that efficiency just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. Aiton hits them both. Now here's Conley. 17 points in the game. Outside Edwards. Outside McDaniels. Down low. Stolen by Ayton. And they're on the run. Here's Booker. And Booker with the jam. Good hands by Ayton. Timeout call. The Timberwolves. And in the second half of the season, these shooting guards have really distinguished themselves with their scoring ability. Second is Devin Booker. Yeah, the absolute best of the best at the shooting guard position. I mean, they can score the ball and flat out dominate defenses. Well, these are the assassins of the NBA right there. The players who can turn a game on its head when they start to feel it. They are almost always the primary focus of the opposing defense. Conley against Paul. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Totally fearless. Conley clashes against strong defense inside. He'll go to any lengths to find those shots. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often take from right. outside the take arc. Right. And the results have been outstanding. And you want to talk about ball distribution. They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. They're dropping dime after dime. Free throw drops for Conley. Biombo, he's checked in for the Suns. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Shoots from the elbow. And the jumper is on the mark. Paul's got six. Yeah, that's why Chris Paul is so special, is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls, find open areas, and there's just no defense for that. Now here's Gobert. He's got seven. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul. We saw one major rule change in the NBA last year. When a shooter intentionally initiates contact with a defender, it's a no call. You like it? Yeah, I do like that. I mean, there should be no reason for a, a shooter to be the one with a defender on him, to be the one putting his body on the line. That's the defender's job. So the rule makes a lot of sense, P.A. He got off to a terrific start from the perimeter, but in the second half, he can't seem to build on that early success. And Durant gets it to go. Now say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Now here's Edwards. He's got 26. And Biombo with the block. 
Here's Booker. Up top, Durant. Pass to Paul. Five on the clock. Now Booker. And that one drops. Booker's got nine points now in the second half. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Now here's Conley. 19 points in the game. And that's exactly what you need. Everybody, big and small, crashing the glass. And Durant with the big finish. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. The possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. Gobert with a screen on Paul. And that one's good from Conley. Conley's got 21 points in the game. And they're still in front, but they desperately needed that hoop to sustain the advantage. Up top, Biombo. Pass to Durant. Now here's Booker, guarded by Edwards. Floats one, and laid in by Booker. He's got 25. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. They're giving up a lot of points in the paint. That's something they have to address here. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Greggs checked in for Okogie. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. Rivers comes in for Anthony Edwards. Oh, Paul with the block. Always in position to make a play at either end. Chris Paul teed that one up nicely. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Outside Booker. Basket counts. Booker's got 27 points. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Conley against Paul. Picked by Gobert. Pass to Reed. Fires from deep. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got six assists in the game. Outside Booker. There's a screen by Biombo. And it's Devin Booker with the three. Booker's got 16 in the second half. Booker looking to get quick revenge after that score. Conley passes to Anderson. Here's Rivers. Gobert with a screen on Booker. Rivers. And Biombo with the block. Pass to Booker. Biombo with it. It's Phoenix with another. Yeah, there was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Reed for three. Connects from downtown. Reed's got six points in the quarter. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. Elbow shot. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Credit the plays they're calling for him. Getting him right now some good shots. Outside, Anderson. Fades back. The Suns clear it. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Here's Paul. And another basket for Phoenix. Just sticking with the play. Chris Paul there determined to make something happen. Maintains his focus all the way through that one. To the inside. Here's Reed. 
Hits the front of the rim and out. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. And Booker gets double teamed. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at six for the lead. No good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 14. And after this one wraps up, they're off to San Antonio where they'll face the Spurs. That game will conclude the three-game road trip they're currently on. Now here's Conley. Give him 23. Let's it fly. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Conley's got 10 points here in the second half. Yeah, there are nights where Conley has to do it himself. And that's a sign of a veteran point guard, knowing when you have to take over. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The T-Wolves on top. They lead by three. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. So for Minnesota right now, Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. And it's Conley in at the one. Pass to Towns. And it's powered home by Towns. I'll tell you what, that cat was strong and physical. Woo, I'm not sure how you can effectively stop Towns around the basket. Now here's Booker to take the lead. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Now here's Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Now Towns. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. Booker with it. Towns covering. Booker, the pass to Aiden. Over Gobert. And it's Phoenix with another. Now hitting that mid-range shot. This is right now probably the extent of Aiden's range. Out to the right wing. Towns against Durant. Out of bounds. It'll Out be bounds. Phoenix's ball. The Suns have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Paul passes to Aiden. Durant has the open look. And another basket for Phoenix. Throughout the second half, they've achieved excellent efficiency on the offensive end. Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. And here's Conley. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Paul against Conley. Here's Okogie. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, even halftime, they couldn't slow them down. They've been hitting from the mid-range, though, all game long. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. And he knocks down the first one. So he gets them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Timberwolves trail. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. Let's go with a three. Yes, great play by Conley to set it up. 
Towns has got eight points in the quarter. You know Towns' team is loving this. He's letting his natural scoring ability run wild on offense. Durant for three. Phoenix no good that time either. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. And Towns' three-pointer is elite. But some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has Take evolved with Take big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. First one falls for him. The Sun's making a switch here. Ross is checked in. So Towns nails them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Aiden, a screen on Towns. And Durant hits from deep. Durant's got 11 in the second half. Uh, he can be just lethal from the perimeter. Even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter, will that make right there? That could change things. Now here's Edwards. Gobert with it. Towns for three. The rebound by Ross. Durant with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Pass to Paul. Gobert against Hayden. Outside Durant. Over Edwards. And another basket for Phoenix. A nice rhythm to his game here late. He's hit three out of four this quarter, looking to put him over the top. Conley against Paul. And that one's good from Conley. Look at the toughness from Conley. He's seen a lot in this league and won't go down easy. Up top, Paul. He's guarded by Conley. Towns against Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. And here's Conley. Pass to Towns. There's the three. Okogi pulls down the board. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Now here's Durant. Three-pointer. Nice shot by Okogi. And it's a seven-point Suns lead. Yeah, with how much attention Durant draws, he's a skilled passer, and he'll make it happen. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He was not pleased with the team's focus, saying, quote, we're being flat out reckless. We have to settle down and tighten things up. No more turnovers. Guys. OK, thanks, Allie.
Outside Edwards. Pass to Gobert. Conley against Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Towns is screen on Paul. Here's Conley. And it's Towns with the power finish. And just crashes the glass with effort and intensity. I mean, how do you box a guy out like Towns? Aiden finds Durant. Lays out. The rebound by the Timberwolves. McDaniels passes to Conley. Now here's Edwards. Pass to McDaniels. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Aiden's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Durant for three. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Oh, boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Now here's Gobert. And here's Edwards outside. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. The Suns leading. Here's Paul. Pass to Durant. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, life's not fair, right? I mean, that is unfair. You do everything you can to contest Durant's shot, and it turns up to be an up fake instead. And he can't get the first one. One of the purest scorers the game has ever seen. Durant continues to somehow get better each year. Good on the second one. The Timberwolves have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Conley passes to McDaniels. Here's Gobert. Pass to Conley. And here's Edwards outside. And Aiden pulls it down. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. And Minnesota has possession. Coming off a of Suns make. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Real close. And I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Craig is checked in for Phoenix. Lee comes in for Ross. Now here's Conley. Takes it inside. And Gobert with the bucket on the assist by Conley. Conley's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Aiden, a screen on Conley. Takes a step back. From 13, Paul with the bucket. 
This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Now here's Towns. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Craig. And it is so tough to disrupt Towns' shots. I mean, when he shoots, he's so disciplined and locked in. Oh, so impressive. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Towns. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. So one for two that time at the strike. He couldn't get to the line once in the first half. Coach must have really talked to him at the break. Pass to Paul. Up and over Conley. And another basket for Phoenix. Attacking the paint, making an adjustment. The defense is right there, but that's a terrific effort by Paul. And stolen by Paul. And there's the lob. Oh, and the jam by Ayton. Just great hands for Ayton to time that one. Now here's Towns. Pass to Gobert. Outside Conley. Towns with the ball. Defended by Craig. Four on the clock. Hits a three-pointer. Edwards has got 29 points. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Craig with a screen on Conley. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That'll be a second foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Here's Okogi. McDaniel's covering. Outside Craig. Pass to Booker. Shot clock at five. Over Edwards. And there's Booker. That one's good. On the assist from Craig. Craig's got three assists now in this one. And he lobs it up top. And Edwards slams it in. Sort of defining the term floor general. Conley has total command of this offense. Pass to Okogi. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. Conley against Paul. And here's Edwards. Wide open look. Again, the Timberwolves score. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Aiden with a screen. Here's Okogi. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Edwards. Picked by Gobert. Left side McDaniels. Conley against Paul. Poke loose. Stolen by Ayton. Pass to Booker. For three. Edwards pulls it in. Edwards has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. It's stolen away. Here's Okogi, covered by Towns. Back to Craig. Now Aiton, defended by Gobert. Just five on the clock. Here's Okogi. Edwards pulls it in. The Timberwolves shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Conley. Here's Towns. I love the ferocity from Gobert. Snagging that board and getting the putback, he wasn't going to be denied. 
ball against Conley. Now Booker. Booker drawing the double. Looking to end the drought. And Aiton with the stuff. Think about the next few years. How much more complete will Aiton get? There's some indicators there. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. They trail by nine. There's 53 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Edwards finds McDaniels. And another three for Minnesota. And he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And that's an intentional foul. Forty-three seconds left in the final quarter. Booker for three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Booker's got 43 points. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Now here's McDaniels. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth. Now Paul. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Katie, you were able to clamp down defensively as the game wore on. What was the key there? Well, we stay patient. We can touch the shots. They hit some tough ones early on. And I think in a pick and roll, we made a solid adjustment. And uh, we turned that around. Coach did it, made a great adjustment. And we was able to get rebounds and go. The patience was so important. It paid off. Thanks, Katie. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Devin Booker.